this has come out of, um, some people say it's come from because of Occupy Wall Street. Mm. Prior to Occupy Wall Street, there's been a lot of riots and protesting and encampments in Greece and then before that in uh, Spain, and this is around Spain, that was last May, and that was after what happened in Tahrir Square in January and February, when you had this first idea of just physically put down roots for a bit, and that, not at all symbolically, it does change things, because if you have a one-day protest, or go home again at the end of the day, yeah. if you stay here, we suddenly have to start sorting stuff out, which means we have a, kind of a more real relationship. what it was at the start is not necessarily how it's going to progress onwards. Social neglect. High unemployment, and so these are the challenges that working people face, progressive people face. Five years. If we need five years like this man and passed away staying there, yeah? If, if we need five years camping on this side here, we're gonna take the risk. Well, for me, if people had a change of a small change of consciousness and started changing the way they live and uh, the things that they focus on and try connecting with them themselves and that in itself would change the economy and make things much better it's a very simple a very simple revolution stage man and then you come in yeah leave it alone let him run his lyrics he's not for me you know what I'm gonna tell him that it's just a comedy man I'm gonna tell him it's a rocking chant I'm gonna tell him it's a rocking chant I'm gonna tell him it's a rocking chant it's a goddamn Labour government that we've just had, squandering all that money on those stupid wars. That's where it went wrong. Billions and billions and billions. Billions. Yes, the donations are made by, by everybody. We have to sign here. Yeah. Whenever somebody wants to come and make a donation, it's welcome. And all these things here, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you can film all these things here, they're all donations. Here. Exactly! In the morning, look, that milk just came. We have like uh, four gallons of milk just came. And they just bring something from us. They wanted to eat, so it's about us. <laughs> I think it's really brilliant, but I'm a bit worried, like, what is it going to do? Does anybody want a true solution? Like, everything else, like, all the youth centres that I've worked at in London, like, um, have had, like, at least half of their funding cut. Everyone's got no money. Um, I'm applying for funding for a charity in London all the time, and it's just basically, like, everywhere you turn, like, there's cuts, cuts, cuts. The problem is that no matter how much money people make, there will never be enough money to, in the system and you know, with the government to pay back the money owed to the bank.
very different to me. Uh, I would come around every day and every single time I uh, meet different people from different backgrounds. A lot of different ideologies on the camp, which I think is brilliant. Uh, yes. There's a lot of people who say that they do this anti this, anti that, anti capitalism. But I think one thing that it is is pro reform. And I want to see reforms in the way financial centres run in this country. I'm really excited to be here and I'm really hoping that you know, gradually the general public will become just much more aware of how we're all being duped. And look at the alternatives and support the alternatives because we need them and we really, really need them urgently.